Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us 2. If you guys are obviously still enjoying the series, even though I'm taking a very long time to get to the end of the game, smash the like button. And uh, listen, this time I promise I'm not going to do a lot of dawdling. I seem to have a problem where I, uh, well, let's just say waste a lot of time. But not this episode. Things are really getting quite spicy indeed. I think I say that pretty much every video, but it's true. This game is getting very, very interesting. I'm very, uh, well, let's just say, I'm invested in the story. Even though I was mad at first, I'm invested. Okay, uh, what are we supposed to do? No, I don't need to craft anything. Um, oh, Tommy. Uh, Tommy! Wh where the hell are you? You need to help me out here, I'm kind of lost. I hear him talking. Tommy! This is amazing, I'm completely lost. We're backstage, I think we're supposed to go around this way. Perhaps. The red light district. Uh, uh, uh. Only kidding. And it's showtime. Hello, boys. Planning things out, are we? Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. If we're in Fall City by tomorrow, we're doing good. Hmm. Hey. They got what they deserved. My sentiments exactly. But she gets to live. <sighs> yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. Hmm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's going to do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. <laughs> All it? right. I was passing through some ritzy section of town. I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. You Let's sure? See <laughs> Maybe it's gold plated. I know plated. what gold looks like. If it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha! <laughs> you find your own damn bribes. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could find something really rare, like cheese. That's rare in apocalypse during a zombie apocalypse, surely. How you doing? Fine. No, you're not. You're no. lying. Fine. Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about, uh... My friends can't get out of their own damn way. Fair enough. I'll take that. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay. Well, it would seem as though we have unannounced guests. <laughs> A visitor! Jesse! What? Stand up! Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. You have Get got to be kidding me! Get out of here! Stand up! Now! Don't you fucking dare! Shut the fuck up! Oh! Fuck. Oh, that I... does it! Stop! Stop! How does she Toss find us? Weapon. Toss your weapon! Fuck. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. I think you need to have a little bit of water. You're dehydrated there. Sweating bullets. Okay, seriously? You have got to be kidding me. This game's got a problem. This is the worst story writing Dad? I've ever seen in my life. Dad! Oh, this is Abby. Dad! There's no way Jesse's actually dead, right? This is so bizarre. I, it, it's like, 
It's like playing as both the villain and the hero at the same time. You play as Batman and then Joker in the same game. How does that make any sense? I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to set this up to show that Abby was a normal girl with a great life or something like that. And then Joel came along and ruined her life because he was trying to save Ellie. So they're trying to make me feel bad for Abby. But that's not going to happen because you killed Joel off, the character I cared about in the first game. And then now Jesse's dead. I mean, granted, it's not like he was a huge part of the game so far. But what is it with this game and just dropping characters Dad. left and right? It's ridiculous. Well, okay, this is Abby pre-steroids, although she's still a little bit buff. I mean, not like she is back there, covered in sweat with massive biceps, but still. All right, father, where are you? It's me, Abby. I've got testosterone and now I'm British. I don't know what happened just then, but. Uh, all right, let's see now. Where is her father? Man, this place looks so Dad, beautiful. Come on. Yeah, where are you, Dad? Doing this. Why did you leave? Oh, dead end? Yep, definitely a dead end. Hmm. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to know where you're going when zombies aren't chasing you. When zombies chase you, the path to success is very clear. Away from them. It just makes sense. But now, I'm confused. Everywhere I go, there's freedom. There's serenity, calmness, golden sunlight. This is unnerving. All right, let's go over this way, climb up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what am I saying? This is clearly during the zombie apocalypse. It's, it's, what was it, four years ago or something like that? There was text on the screen. I missed it because I do what I do best, blabbering the whole time. All right, this is getting kind of annoying. Maybe I go up this way? Like I've said before, if it wasn't for a GPS, I would seriously get lost getting out of bed in the morning. It's that bad. Or does this lead to where I started? Oh, it does. Oh, my gosh. This is sad. Where I started. Yep. Thank you for telling me that. Well, this looks slightly promising. Or rather, it's just a full loop. Okay, well, that was fun. Hmm. Well, being that I am a, uh, a complete moron, uh, just give me a second here. I might have to fumble around in circles until I find something. You know what? I get, yeah, okay, I know exactly what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. There was something I could, I could probably climb over, vault over, and I completely missed it. Oh, really? All right, never mind, I was wrong. Ooh, well now this Where looks pretty. Very nice indeed. No zombies. What is this? Is it like a, a, a community college? I don't know why, but anytime there's banners like this on the light post, it always makes me think of a college. Probably because the colleges I attended. Colleges, plural. Let's go in here. Okay, all right. Thought it might be a poltergeist, but it's just a... Uh, a furry woodland creature, the worst kinds of things to encounter. Zombies and furry woodland creatures. Anything in here? Bees, unfortunately. Buzz off! I haven't got time for you guys. Well, this is probably not the way to go. Uh, or is it? Oh, no, maybe we can go around this way. Where has Abby's father gone? Well, being that she has so much testosterone running through her body, he was probably very scared of her. He wanted to have a cute little girl and buy her dresses Here and stuff go. like that, but instead, she's bodybuilding and kicking ass left and right. He got scared, got cold feet, and ran away. There. Mm. Dad! We are hot on your trail, Dad. You cannot hide from me. How am I getting over this fence? You may try and run away from your other children, but unfortunately, Abby does not give up. Okay, Jesus. Well, I guarantee I'm supposed to actually go into the bathroom and Maybe crawl over something. Or get up on the roof. Hmm, I guess that might work. Is there a rolly cart anywhere around? Ooh, maybe over here. This could be promising. Oh, of course, there's a window. How did I not see this? I should have known the game would not have given me a bottle if there wasn't a reason to have it. <laughs> so, so stupid. After all this time, I still don't know what I'm doing. And there it is, the dumpster. You have no idea how incredibly useful you guys are. What the hell? Look at that. 1978. Hmm. It's a very long time ago. What idiot would put a coin on a dumpster? I'm not complaining, but still. Come on now. All right, let's push that right there. 
climb up here. You know, it's too bad we don't have some type of like uh, grappling harpoon gun okay. instead of relying on rolling trash bins to get around. <laughs> All right, uh, most likely I'd probably climb up here. That makes no sense. There's no way. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Uh, probably I jump over here. Abby, you have got to work on your lower body strength. You got the upper body part on lockdown, but the legs are kind of weak. Just a little bit. Or maybe I'm bad at jumping. Abs? Oh. <laughs> you, uh, you got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. Har, so har, har. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs, she's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Hmm. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Oh, I see what you're doing here, game. You're trying to make my heart bleed for Abby. It's not gonna happen. How do you know I was here? Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Hmm, you sure about that? Hey, look what I found. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Hmm. Maybe because Don't you're a uh, compulsive liar! <laughs> Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Like hmm. what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. More so than usual. Oh, God. What in oh, the hell? <laughs> I'm your dad. I see things. Do like you know? You both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. So you're taking advantage of him? Abs, look. This is the coolest playground <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's look at the mud. Examine let's these tracks. Anything else? Wait. This is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. Hmm. Is you it know, working? Well, I mean, found you. Yeah, but you cheated. Cheated? You do what you need to do to get it done. It's called intel, buddy. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. He is a very wisdomous person. That's a word. Wisdomous? You're a very wisdomous person. Okay, I see what's happening here. They're trying to get me to uh, bond with Abby and her father, to like this relationship they have, to show that Abby at one point was a very kind girl that else? just had a happy life. Not yet. Until Joel came along. Keep looking. Hmm. All right, well then, let me see now. Uh, tracking, tracking. Is there anything around here that I can track? Oh, well, this looks like a clue. What? Wait, what? Is that a blobfish? What in the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is this? Apparently, I have to get up inside of it to examine. Uh, Dad, I found something. I literally don't know what that is. She already gave birth. Ew. Oh, and look. Oh, that's disgusting. Tracks. Dad? It's her. Let's go. That doesn't sound good. No, she's in pain. Well, we're clearly not hunting anything. Abs. Abs. I love that nickname. It fits because I'm buff. That Abs. What if they're infected around? This area is clear. How do you and know? They roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Yeah, this? This is not a gun. This is a pistol. Abs. It doesn't even count as a gun. It's a toy. It's what you buy your child in America when they turn one years old. I need a real gun. Like a bazooka. What? Is that a zebra? We gotta cut her loose. Oh no, I got caught in a trap. Okay, no, that's not a trap, it's a fence. Don't worry. 
I'm not gonna hurt you. How did that happen? It's okay. She must have been running at full steam. My goodness! Uh, Abs, come here. here. I'm just trying to figure out how the zebra managed to get tangled between the wires like that. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Stop, are you around here? What is Owen? We found a zebra. Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen! Hold her. Okay, she was definitely part of the Fireflies, which we already knew that. I mean, there were the Fireflies. You got her tight? Uh, yeah. All right, get in there, Abs. Yeah. Oh, man, listen, Zebra, calm down. We're trying to help you. Stupid animal. And it's gonna run off somewhere and bleed out. Great job, guys. We got it. Hey, wait! Dad! Uh, What's going on? Come on! Mm. I'm guessing her father must have been a, uh... Oh, it's this location from the first game where we found the giraffe. We did good back there. Doc, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you gotta get down there. Dad. Come on. Hmm. Of course. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. No wonder there was a zebra there. All right. Well, you know, even if you think about it, they still did something There's wrong because brain. There's no other option. There has to be some other way. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. The host. She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her. No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific, all of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter, what would you do? Abby. I'll buy you some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Damn, they're eating good. Steak and baked beans? Look, Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Good luck with your surgery. Hmm. See, that's what I thought. They were at fault. They didn't tell Ellie what was going to happen. They were just going to kill her, You're sacrifice right her. Thing. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense. He was the only surgeon that was able to extract a vaccine from Ellie, and she was he was also Abby's father. So that's why she's trying to get revenge because specifically her father died by Joel. But I mean, if you think about it, they kind of had it coming. They should have told Ellie and at least given her a choice in the matter, but they didn't. 
and they're trying to find a way to justify all the evil and cruelty they've been doing all along trying to find a vaccine and this is their one way to get redemption and salvation by actually getting the cure even at the expense of a child who had no choice in the matter so really joel and the fireflies were both wrong at the end of the day and ellie unfortunately was caught in between and now ellie is just carrying on the theme of being violent and seeking revenge so i guarantee there's no one in this game with clean hands Abby. No. Abby, don't look. Dad! Dad! No. He got blasted. No. No. I'm the, I don't feel sorry. I'm sorry, game. Okay, I do a little bit. And then after this, Ellie took steroids and got buff as hell. Get up. Go fucking get up! Please stop! Please don't shoot! Thanks, game. I really want to see this Go, part again. Please get up! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> For your help, pendejo. Rude? I'm gonna fucking kill you! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? No. Manny. Clean enough. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Darden! You shoot me? Stop! We're done. Okay, so out of their little band of misfits, I think Abby might be the only one left. Because last episode, Ellie killed, uh, I can't remember his name, but the one guy and his girlfriend that were pregnant, which we found out about, unfortunately, after Ellie put her knife right in the throat of the pregnant lady. So I think Abby may be the only one left alive. <laughs> oh, easy. Or maybe this guy is too. You okay, Apps? Yeah, I just... <laughs> What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. <sighs> We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. <sighs> we should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. This game is so bizarre. Okay. Really? We're gonna be playing as Abby now? My God, she is buff! I feel demasculinized, if that's even a word. Unmasculinized? Demasculinized? I don't know what the word is. The point is, I feel like a bitch compared to her. Look! Yeah, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, she's a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Worth it, though? Oh, absolutely. I can die happy now. <laughs> you should. Hmm. You're never gonna do better than her. <laughs> I keep thinking the same thing. And oh, no wonder she's buff. We are. I'm just trying to see if there's any pinprick marks around her arms where the steroids were injected. Look at that wingspan. Look at the shoulders. My God. She lost her boobs. Now she's got man packs straight up. I guarantee she could twist a metal pipe into a pretzel. <laughs> All right, well then, this is so weird. I, I just, I don't, I don't understand the point in me playing as Abby and seeing her perspective of the story if Abby was the one that killed Joel and we had no part in that whatsoever. It's just kind of bizarre. But uh, I'm not gonna complain. I guess now things are starting to make a little bit more sense. Her father was the surgeon responsible for extracting the vaccine from uh, Ellie and Joel killed him, which in turn made Abby, of course, want to go on a path of revenge. She killed Joel, didn't kill the others. A gentleman never tells. And then now Ellie and Tommy wow. and Jesse are on the path of revenge, and Dina. But Jesse's dead, this game, oh my God, they're really trying to make me upset. Let me just open this with my giant Hulk bicep. <laughs> I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food? Yeah, you yeah, do that, bitch. Get me something con picante. You get what you get. 
Hey, hey, listen, man. You get your own food, all right? I will arm wrestle you into the ground with just my pinky. Man, this place is bustling. Look at everybody. Hello, hello. What's happening? I'm the biggest bitch in this joint. That's right. Where's your big dog at? I will beat him into hamburger meat. I am the big one here. I own this place. You want to say something to me? You want to say? You want to say something to me, Scarface? I will beat you up. No, I'm joking. We're on the same side. What's up? Oh shit, Jordan. I didn't see you there. You coming with us to the Saravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the fob. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Man, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. At least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. That's your run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. It's such a weird saying to have. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. May your death be swift? Is that the ultimate thing you guys are hoping for? Hey, what's up? What's uh, what's a girl gotta do to get some protein up in this joint, huh? Oh, speaking of which, I see some protein right over here. Hmm, that's a lot of meat. Hey, what's up? I'll take uh, five buckets of chicken and rice, please, and also uh, some horse steroids on the side. No? Not possible? Okay, cool. Man, they have quite the operation here. This place is huge. Look at all the people. Hey, what's up? What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. What do you mean again? Burritos are delicious. Abby, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa, dame tres burritos. We don't have hey, to wait man, in line. line. Eddie, what the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. We're going to the front. Come on. <sighs> so embarrassing. Man, I Why love getting three? special privileges. Go on back. Now, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Mel. Manny? Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. Right. Stop being paranoid. I'm not being paranoid. I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. <sighs> she... She kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget. We are grunts. She's we are medic. grunts. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it what? for me. Okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. Hmm. Man, she scarfed that down with no water? My goodness, I can feel my throat right now being dry and I'm choking on something. I need water. You can't eat a burrito without water. That is, uh, that, that's just not a human thing to do. Maybe she has a lot of spit in her mouth. I don't know. What am I talking about? We're grunts, are we? Is that like the elitist around here, right? We're the top dogs, top of the food chain. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab them. You do yeah. that. Be nice. Bite me. Hmm. Oh, are these my digs? Check it out. I have quite the view. Bra. I don't need a bra. I've got man pecs. Nah, I'll take it. Just in case I want to be feminine. Fit feminine? Fit fem feminine. Brain just melted. Jeez. Okay, now I must admit, during a zombie apocalypse, there's a lot of places that would probably be, you know, a very good spot to hold up. But I think a stadium would be like an impenetrable fortress. I mean, you've only got a few entrances and then everything else is just kind of barricaded off. This would be an awesome place to hold up. All right, we got a bed over here. There's my sack, let me grab that. Hmm. Abby, I think you need to do a little cleaning. Your place looks a bit messy. Sort of like a college student lives here. One with poor hygiene. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Look at her, she is so pregnant, it is not even funny. <laughs> You get a knife in the throat later, just a heads up. Spoiler alert! Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. Bad no choice. okay with this? 
Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Hmm. Hey. Do better. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we have everything we need. Unfortunately, that means no guns, huh? Well, I mean, the guns are me, so I guess I don't need guns, but still. Very interesting. Okay. I, I think I kind of like this, actually, playing from Abby's perspective. I, I guess at this point, the entire story of the game is kind of ruined, in my opinion. It's just weird. I'm guessing that at the end of the game, there's probably going to be a giant battle between Ellie and Abby, and then one will be victorious, most likely Ellie, and then every other character in the damn up. game dies. It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse. Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrists. He can barely hold a spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's lots of young families. Getting you guys excited about the baby. Seeing all the kids running around. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> All those crying babies. Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny. Oh, they've got livestock Yikes. too. Sucks for him. Yeah. This place is awesome. It's not as good as Jackson, but it's got its own charm. Intercity dwellings inside of a stadium. A real lively village here. I wonder if they have electricity. Well, they have a gym. That's the one thing Jackson probably does not have is a gym. Oh, and they've got lots of doggies. Hello, doggies. Are you gonna try and rip my face off? Setting out Alice? She's just playing inside. Great. Abby, you wanna grab her? Mm. Oh, great. We get to bring a Fido with us. Come here, doggy. There are hey, faces girl. that need to be bit, and you're gonna do it. Hey, you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, Al. You want to go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. Aw, they're so cute. <gasps> you want to play fetch? Oh my gosh, I can actually play fetch. So nicely. Ready? Ready? Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? <gasps> go get the ball! Get the ball. Yeah, there we go. When you play fetch with an animal, the more energy you put in your voice, the more fun the animal has. I can guarantee it. If you just throw the ball and say, go fetch, it's like, oh, really? Are we not having fun today? But then if you do this, like you hold the ball back and go, who wants to get the ball? And then you throw it and yell, the dog just thinks it's the best thing ever. Go get it. It's probably not at all what the dog's thinking, but still, <laughs> it seems like that. Oh, uh, this game is great, even though, I think the story is kind of sad. I give it 10 out of 10 simply because you can pet dogs and now play fetch. Whoa, whoa. All right, listen, buddy. Go fetch! Oh, I'm so cruel. <laughs> sorry, you can't fetch it. Bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Now that's going to bother you all day long. You're going to be pinned up in here hoping to fetch the ball, but you can't. Did I see you with Jen last night? Yes, you I'm did. So evil. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac. It's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the Cumulus Club. <laughs> well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Yeah, I, that's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just treating hey, families. Abby. You'd hey, Abby. Suck, scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. All right. Well, I was not expecting this to be in the game at all, mm -hmm. but uh, I think right. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. It's a nice switch up. Hey, Pat. Can I have my usual? You got it. Oh, they have an armory? Which trucks are in? Take S24. Is that a dragon off? I'm driving. <sighs> Sign us out. Hmm. fail. Hope I don't accidentally snap the pencil with my Thanks. inhuman strength. May survival be long. May your death be swift. That is so weird. Guys, you've got to stop saying that. That just sounds wrong on every single level. I could use a warm-up. <gasps> Gun range! This place is so cool! All right, all right. The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. Mm, very high Best stakes. Best magazine. You're on, cabron. Well, we already know I'm going to lose, quite clearly. All right, I like this. 
Is it timed? I hope it's not timed, because if so, I am definitely screwed. Bullseye! Oh, yeah, man, this gun is just so awesome. Mm. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I should probably go for headshots, huh? Yeah! Ha! Mm. If only combat in this game was so easy. And one more shot. Booyah! Ha. You got smoked! What's up, Manny? I'm requesting that gun next time. Yeah, the gun's why I won. Kind oh, of that was. reminds me. There is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> You're cruel. <laughs> Have fun Ooh, with you that. You my laundry too. Oh, do we get to keep doing this? All right. Well, now let me show you guys how I would actually play. Assuming that uh, we're not in a friendly competition where the target's not moving, this would be me. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, it's coming right towards me. The shambler. Ah! And then I'm out of ammo. That's exactly how that would go down, but it's all good, right? I won. I don't have to do any laundry, so I'm happy. I had a lovely time in your firing range. Cool. All right, let's go. They really do have quite let's the setup the here. More ammo if you do need it. Okay. How nice of you. I think I'll take some of that. Lots of ammo. Well, let me just clean house here. I'll take all of that. There we go. In fact, I should probably go ahead and load some in. Oh. Wow, disappointing. There's more ammo, but I can't pick it up. I have 18 bullets. Eight, eight, 18 bullets. Okay. Yeah, who's a good girl? <laughs> They've even got military vehicles. My God, the fireflies were, they were kind of OP a little bit. Mel's pregnant. She could use the fresh air. Give you two a chance to talk. Real soon, right? Hmm. Well, I take it that Mel and Abby were not the best of friends. Look at the difference between Abby and Mel. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's unreal. I can't get over yes, yes. it. Those arms. I am so jealous. Oh, and we get a view of the uh, the outside of the stadium. Have you been sleeping these days? Not great. Great conversation, you guys. Get you something from the pharmacy? No, I'm, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and one. What do you mean? Nothing. Hmm. Being passive aggressive, are we? And a gate? My God, this place was an impenetrable hey, fortress. Where are you headed? Two. Truck S24 headed to two. Your survival will be long. May your dead be sweet. You guys are morbid. It's kind of sad that all of this got decimated by a, one old man, yeah. Joel. Well, most of it. Can you plan on getting it back? No, Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing up wild salmon right now. All right, this is actually really cool. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um, I haven't seen him in like two weeks. Keeps picking up open assignments. He's probably trying to avoid you because you're pregnant. Did he talk to you? Did, did he say anything? Or... No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen him in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shook him. No, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh! All right, well then. They're on horseback. That is so cool. We've got bandits! Jeez, I feel like I've just been teleported to a different time in history. Ha! Man, this gun. Okay, I take everything I said back. Oh my goodness, it... I need to get a better gun. The gun really does make all the difference in the world. Or maybe it doesn't. Oh! Look at Abby's arm. What's up, bandits? You're gonna try and take on people inside of an armored jeep? Dumb move. Well, Humvee, I suppose. I really wish I had aim assist on. I am just so bad at this. All right, this feels like a, uh, a chase scene out of Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, hey, horsey, it's all good. You don't have anyone on your back. Mm, pop. All right, buddy. Man, you can take your horses back to the 18th century, okay? Or maybe not. Oh boy. Oh, this is embarrassing. Molotovs. Listen, buddy. Oh, 
That's not very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, this got dangerous real quick. Jesus. I think we've been teleported to a Michael Bay movie. You okay? Yeah. Did they? I don't think any of them had guns whatsoever. It's just all bows. Too exposed. Let's get inside. All right, following you. Oh, I still have my ammo. Wonder what I was shooting back there if it wasn't the ammo that I had. <laughs> All right, let me just slam that shut with my testosterone. Let's make sure this place is secure. Hmm, it's probably a good idea. Are there any zombies around? So those guys are scars. I don't think I've encountered scars in this game, or maybe I have, and I just didn't for, uh, remember. It's enough I must stuff have to make a vibe bomb. Copy that. Hmm. Pipe bomb, you say? <gasps> oh, I need a bottle. Well, shit. Do you see a bottle around anywhere? I'm sure we'll find one at some point. Interesting. Okay, I want to be able to craft a pipe bomb now. Can I craft a pipe bomb playing as Ellie? I don't think I can. Oh, there's the bottle. What were you doing hiding on the floor? Maybe we should have taken chances outside. We got this. Two pipe bombs. All right. Yeah, I, I don't think we have a pipe bomb yet. At least not playing as Ellie, so. Wonder if I'll be able to unlock that. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Lots of places to hide in here. Uh oh. oh. Fido, here's something. Infected. Oh, infected. No. Oh. We're not scared of infected, are we? Come on now. Or maybe we are. Actually, that, that might be the sensible thing to do. Be terrified of everything. Well, somebody's having a bad day. Would you like a free bottle? I hear the bottles make you happy. Or rather, the substances inside the bottle. Ha! Really? I had to reload just then? Oh boy. Okay, thank you for running in a straight line. It makes my life a lot easier. Okay, nice. So better than getting drunk and watching anime. What? Anime? Nothing. Did you really just say anime? You do not look like the type of person that would be into anime. Although you can never judge, you know. Everyone's into anime. All right. Um. Guys, look oh. up there. See the light coming through? Could be a way out. I'll climb up there and check it out. What? Well, how do you propose to do that? Oh, hold up. I think I know a way. Possibly, don't tell me I have to go all the way down here. There's no way. How in the, do, do you have any ideas? I see the ladder that I'm probably supposed to, oh, wait a minute, maybe I need a boost? Nope, that's not, nope, hmm. Um. What, okay, I definitely go from this side to this side, but how do I get over here? You know what, there's probably a giant rolling dumpster around here somewhere, just waiting to be moved. Somewhere? Anywhere? <laughs> Dumpster, you're just gonna stand there and stare at the wall until something happens? Got it, cool, okay. Oh, all right, I found a hatchet. Okay, well, uh, there was nothing to roll around, but uh, I did find this way. I'm lying, I didn't find it, the game gave me a hint because I am stupid. Oh, hold up, I see something over here. Yeah, get inside my backpack right now. And we have supplements. Okay, well, this is odd. I'm guessing we're going to be playing a lot uh, as Abby from now on. Otherwise, why would the game give me the ability to learn new things? Interesting. All right. Let's... One big jump. You've really got to work when you're jumping. Okay. Maybe also lose a little bit of weight. Yep, that did not go according to plan. Let's be honest, there was no plan. Oh, it's a clicker. Click, no more. Oh, that's right. Good Fido. Bite its face. Or rather, what's left of its face. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, I've got this. Come here. Chop, chop. Yeah. Fun. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah. I love hearing Zambies wail in pain. Oh, hold up. What am I doing? I've got pipe bombs. Pipe bomb. Okay, dodge out of the way. Clicker. You can have that. There we go. Thank you. I was about to say it. That was a waste. I was going to be pissed. Shh. 
Yeah. Mm. Timber. That's what you say when you chop things down with an axe, right? Okay. This, oh my god, we've got a shambler. Oh my goodness, it just exploded. All right, run, run, no! No, you nasty thing! Get off of me! You're gonna get your acne all over me or whatever that stuff is. It looks disgusting. Okay, let's take this bad boy out. Mm. Come here, bitch. Oh. Did that work? Oh, I should probably heal. Ugh. All right, well then, that went very smoothly. I'm still terrible at this game. Good? Running low now, Modo. Can mm. we say fuck this place? Yes. Fuck this place. We're yeah. getting out of here. Oh, I lost my axe. No. Or hatchet, I suppose. Grab all of this. Nasty boy, but my goodness, you do have some booty cheeks on you. Grab that. Thank you kindly. Okay, so again, I'm guessing we're going to be playing from Abby's uh, perspective as my brain melts uh, quite a bit more, which is so bizarre. I don't think I've really ever played a game where you get to play as both, I suppose, the protagonist and the villain, most likely, but I guess they're not trying to really show Abby as a villain. It's just a character with a different story who's gone through heartbreak and pain, and uh, at the end of the day, she wants revenge. Who's gonna win? Most likely Ellie. I mean, come on now. They have to open themselves up for the possibility of a sequel, or rather, I suppose, a third game. Or maybe not. Maybe this is where the series dies. All right, let's get the hell out of here as soon as I grab my stick. Yeah. Suddenly I've gone from a testosterone-fueled woman to now I'm a grandmother. Get me a switch. That's an old man. Give me a switch. I'm going to switch you. Come here, son. That's not what grandmothers sound like. I don't, I don't know what's happening to my brain. I think the shambler exploding somehow ruined my brain cells. Is that possible? Can his spores carry from the game over into real life? Come on now, what's the point in all those muscles if you can't push it aside? Ladies first. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. Go ahead, Apps. You said ladies first. <laughs> I like you. Abs, what a nickname to have. This place looks very green. Mm. Okay. Abby, this reminds me of your dad's greenhouse. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. <laughs> good point. So funny. You know what? This is good. You two needed a bonding moment. Shut, Shut up, up Manny. <laughs> Working already. I can't remember if Manny's already... What the hell is this? Okay, so we are going to be playing from her perspective. I, I just remembered. Of course, we're collecting hey, uh, coins. I know a good drinking game. You can build them. Maybe later. Who knows? Maybe at the end of this game, they reach some type of agreement. Ellie and um, Abby. Yeah, we both did bad things. Let's just call it even. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know. You've already probably finished the entire game. I don't know. I'm still clueless. So yeah, we, we, we really are going to be playing from Abby's perspective, I suppose. Otherwise, why would I be bothering to collect loot, resources, and uh, coins? Collecting coins of all things. All right, let me grab that and that. Man, this place had so much juicy loot. Cool. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, any ideas how we get out of here? Mm, listen, don't rely on me, okay? Like I've said before, I'm very stupid and I get lost very easily. It's actually quite sad. Can I climb up here? Nope. That would probably just put me inside of a cage. Uh, possibly over here somewhere. Any breaks in the ceiling? No? I see a butterfly. Climb over this. Oh, of course. It's right in front of my face. Follow me. I'm the trailblazer here, which is probably a terrible thing to put me in charge of. Bob said ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> All right. Following you. God, remember when we could pass through this area without getting jumped by scars? Mm, no, because I've never actually played it uh, from Abby's perspective before, but. Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We met our guardmen, and they strung up an entire squad. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but 
Those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many, they're kids. It's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. Okay. Well, it would seem as though no one has any moral fiber in the post-apocalyptic world. But it is very quiet out of here. Keep checking those sight lines. All right, can I go through here? I'm guessing this is locked. For some reason, oh, never mind. I was about to say, all the doors are locked. You would think at least a few looters would have come Someone through and tried to break it open. Maybe there's another way in. Yeah, I already see the way in. There's a rope dangling right here. Up here. Really? I need a boost? Or maybe not. Manny, maybe see what's up there. Okay. Well, that answers my question before I even asked it. Everyone's got so much upper body strength. Look at his hatchet. It's covered in blood. That is so cool. All right, tell me what you see up there, buddy boy. If I hear any yeah, screaming, I'll know you fell through. Oh, and the rope's gone. And just like that, Manny vanished. Never to be seen again. Come on up. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. Mm. Thank you for stating the obvious. I was going to be very dangerous and stupid. But now that you've said that, I'll obviously be careful. Well? <laughs> Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave up? Mm. Oh. Long way down. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, I was about to think to myself, do I jump down? And then I realized, of course, grab the thing that you can use to uh, slowly descend down. That makes way more sense. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Did you hear that whip sound as it went through the air? She really threw it. And drop down. Okay, is there anything in okay, here though. that wants to bite my face off? We're in. I'm at the door. All right, surely you can handle this on your own, right? All right. Okay, come on. You Quick. can! Good job! Jeez. No problem! Yeah, sure. Here. More pills! This game knows me too well. Alright, let me just double check every corner. The most annoying possible thing to do in a video, I know, but... Duct tape! The holy grail of things to find. Sticky plastic stuff. The way to my heart. Alright, uh, what, what now, boys? And pregnant lady? I said boys. That would indicate there's more. Well, I guess I would count as a boy, right? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Let me grab that. Oh, more bolts. Awesome. Alright. I think I've, uh, actually, let me just double check. I could probably craft one of these. I can. Cool. No more. No suppressor. Can I grab anything over here? No? Okay. Onwards! Oh. Well, now what's back here? Any more goodies? Man, this place has so much scrap loot. It's freaking awesome. Not that I care, of course. I'm playing from Abby's perspective, and I plan on staying angry the entire time because I like Joel. That was my favorite character. Oh, okay. Man, I love this gun. I wish I could get it when I was playing with Ellie. Uh, all right. Let's see now. Stability, capacity. Obviously, I'm going with capacity. That just makes sense. And then she just spins a screwdriver, or rather uses some pliers, and magically the clip has been extended. I don't know how, but it works, so I'm not complaining. All right. Cool. That's all we can do for now. And now I have 12 bullets. Okay, well that's going to come in handy when I need to spray and pray, which will be all the time, because uh, I can't be accurate. Go over here and grab this. Another bottle. Man, this place was a gold mine. Nope, don't need that. I saw something over here shimmering like a diamond. Yes, liquids. Cool, all right. Uh, let's open up this very giant door and uh, get the hell out of here. Now I have my gun with 12 bullets in, uh, in the magazine, so it's time to start spraying and praying. Let's try and find some more scars. That apparently came from the 1800s on horseback with bows. I'll hold it here, go. I'll break it with something. Oh! Sorry. You nearly died. Yeah. Crank broke. 
What now? Abby, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Oh, are we now? Okay. Oh. Glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. And I want to thank Manny for that one. <laughs> I am glad I'm here with you guys. I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Mm. You say that now, but wait till we actually get in trouble together. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. Mm. Kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. Well, I'm sorry right. to say, Mel, but you, uh, you pay for your sins eventually. Ellie puts a knife right in your throat. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, Abby, who's me up there? You, you want me- ideas. You want me to boost you somewhere? Listen, heavy lady. I may be strong, but I ain't that strong. Only kidding, of course I am. Okay, here we go. Got it. That cannot be healthy for someone that's pregnant. Aren't you worried about damaging your child? It's gonna come out with serious mental so problems. What's your idea? Um, one sec. One. All right, I'm impatient. Chop, chop. What are you doing? Getting us out of here? You sure okay, about that? Just go slow. Oh my goodness. One advantage of being pregnant: low center of gravity. Yeah, you keep telling yourself Take that. Your word for it. Is she gonna jump? You really must not like your baby, huh? <laughs> she probably oh, smokes and drinks too. Made it. All right. Well, now what? Don't tell me I can take the. Oh wow. Could I have? No, I couldn't have. Never mind. That's a dumb question, which I didn't even ask. But I was thinking it. Up? Thank you. What? Come on up. Where? Where the hell are you? I am so confused. Maybe I do go up the stairs. I guess we'll find out. Let's go up here. Go around. Maybe she lowered a rope or something. Oh, you opened the door up. Okay, well that makes way more sense. Okay, getting closer to the hatch. Aha, a ladder. I don't think we've act well, no, we encountered a ladder one time. I think in the first game you used ladders a lot. That's the one thing I missed from the first game too, the charm of uh, <laughs> Ellie needing Joel to find her something to float around on. That was, uh, it's kind of comedic, I liked it. And I'm guessing we're probably supposed to try this, right? Yes. All right. You let me go across hey. first. I don't need the Come extra on. weight, okay? This thing might collapse. Uh, well, actually, no. Come on over here. Low center of gravity. You're gonna I'm be gonna a terrible a mother. Boat. Or rather, scratch that. You died, so. My God. She's got so much muscles. That's amazing. God damn. All right, what's the plan now? Uh, can I place it across here? Yes, I can. There we go. All right, let's just cross over. Oh, do you want to say something? Go ahead. He's still trying to fix that thing up. <laughs> yeah. But he says he'll be done any day now. Any oh. day now. <laughs> uh... Everybody's got their obsession. Yeah, like me and dog toys. Yup. Yeah, never mind. This and is me with my go. stupid coins. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, well that makes a little bit more sense. Before she picked it up at the very bottom of the ladder. Okay, I'm guessing most likely I do this, right? Or not? Wait, what? There's no way I can get from There's one a catwalk running to the hatch. But how do we get to the catwalk? Oh, well, perhaps I go over here. If I can get on the edge. Come on now, you dumbass. Or wait. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just guess at this point. I don't see a way I can get from this side up okay. onto the catwalk. All right, don't fall and break every bone in your body. Uh, you wanna come across? Yeah, there is no way this is gonna work. Can I squeeze through here? No? All right, well, uh, give me one second. I'm stupid, which you knew. All right, well, the game gave me a hint. Throw the rope over the catwalk. I suppose that makes a lot more sense, but inside this ship, I also found some things. David versus Goliath. 
Ooh, training manuals reveal new upgrade branches. All right, a comprehensive history of guerrilla warfare. Sounds like so much fun. Why is this voice happening? I don't know. New upgrade branch, covert ops. Ooh, well now that just sounds very military-esque. I like it. All right, I don't know why I ever thought I would use the ladder to get to the other side. Probably because I have the brain capacity of a squid. I have no idea. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe squids aren't smart. My go-to thing is rocks or jellyfish. I have the, the brain capacity of a jellyfish. I suppose that makes way more sense. All right, whoop, throw it over. There we go. Oh, of course, I would need the ladder. There we go. I guess that makes sense. Should have put two and two together. Climb on up, and then we're on the catwalk. Okay, there we go. Well, that wasn't too challenging for normal people with regular brains. Long way down. Vertigo hitting you hard? Especially when I look down. Mm. Oh, come on now. That's not that far. At worst, you might break a toe or two. Who knows? Maybe you would actually break something even more. You'd probably break every bone in your body. What am I saying? There they are. Manny, be right down. Okay. Look, Bob, sweet Bob. Almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. It's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Mm. Oh, please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. You think I don't feel the same way? Well, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. He did? Well, he always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. That's not a very oh, nice thing to say. <laughs> About time you two caught up. Been quiet out here? Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, we're almost to the fob. Man, when we get back home, we're gonna find a couch, watch a movie, and drink until they pass out. Sounds like a real fun time. Oh, yeah? Which drink? Which movie? <laughs> Strong questions. The movie's the one with... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, the girl who rides the wolf. Oh, I love that one. And drink... My mezcal from the party last week. Excuse mm. me? You mean our mezcal? Uh, save, save, save. I'll save some for you. You better. Oh, I could definitely go for a drink right now. If I wasn't so pregnant. Oh, don't let that hold you back. <laughs> do you guys know where we're going? I'm guessing we probably go down here. Guys, down this way. <clears throat> okay, we'll follow the tracks. That'll get us back on the main road to the fob. I don't like this. I know. You've said that. Keep your eyes open. Any way over that wall? Not that I can see. Well, don't worry, I've got my large switch! It's just in case. Quiet. Here comes more of them. Oh, where, where? Now I see them. Hello, Scars. Are they chanting something? Never mind. They weren't. Makes no difference to me, though. I'll still pop one in the forehead. Actually, can I? I can't, son of a bitch. It's so annoying. I also don't have any suppressed weapons. It's unfortunate. Well, I guess my large switch will have to do. You guys have been very naughty. And Granny Abby is about to punish you. If I can get over here without getting caught. Let's listen in. Coast is clear. Let's go around this way. I'm saying everything I'm doing because apparently this is what you have to do when you're a commentary channel that plays games, right? Otherwise, you could play the game yourself. Look at this guy. You look like you've been very naughty. Okay, good. Do not turn around. You naughty little child. I need to perfect my granny voice. Hmm. Maybe if I get close enough. Yes, come here, you little naughty girl. Oh, okay, this is not a switch, but I suppose this is... Okay, well then. You know what? I think it's time for me to get up close and personal and... and uh, never mind, you have been shot in the face. Okay, well, Granny Persona has been compromised. Now it's time to go back to the executioner. And miss every shot. Okay, how dare you try and dodge on me? 
can't dodge on me. Oh, you got dropped. Sorry about that, gang. Stealth is not my strong suit. Oh, you're gonna try and hide behind that very large stump, huh? Peekaboo! Come on now. Mm, I don't like playing games of hide and seek as your blood mists everywhere. <laughs> Anyone else? Nope, I think the coast is clear. Actually, there's probably someone around here. Jump over and look everywhere. Look everywhere. I can hear your voice. You're right there. Really? Did I just? Oh my god. See, I told you. Back there at the firing range, I told you that's what would happen. My god. Your face. There isn't a face. <laughs> okay. All right. I need to start being strategic with my shooting. That was not very strategic. Oh, you hit the box. Looks like you're just as bad of a shot as I am. Never mind. I stand corrected. There's no one worse than I. Oh my god, come on. Stand still, man. Stay down. It's a good thing you guys are actually crack shots because I'm missing every single shot I attempt to take. Mm. Oh, that was in the penis. It had to have been. Okay, is that it? Oh, have shit. I thoroughly embarrassed myself enough? Is that it? I have. I don't see any more. <sighs> On me. Let's go. Woo. Yeah, okay. I think the granny persona is going to permanently stay dead. Trying to switch bad guys is just not the best of ways to deal with situations as your body randomly starts moving. Just double check all the corpses over here. Really? You guys couldn't be bothered to drop anything? Oh, I am just so disappointed in you. Oh, okay. Random train car had some ammo. Train car? Train car. Whatever it's called. All right, uh, let me just double check everything and then we'll keep moving. All right, actually I lied. I think for now I'm gonna leave it off here. You guys have suffered through enough embarrassment for this episode. So uh, yeah, we're playing as Abby. Uh, I'm actually really curious to find out the full story of Abby and what's happened. Obviously, Joel killed her father and that's why she wanted revenge, but where the game's gonna go from there, I'm not really sure. It's very odd to me that we're playing from Abby's perspective when we had no power over what she decided to do to Joel at the beginning of the game, but I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy. So uh, yeah, until the next episode, peace out.